Today I want to walk you through how to actually put your flower press together and show you how to press a few different flowers. So let's jump in. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the back piece of my press and I'm going to put all the screws in so that um, they are facing, when the back is down, they're facing up. So they go in like this. And then I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm ready to add some cardboard. So I can add one sheet of cardboard and then I can add a piece of paper and then I'm going to add flowers, another piece of paper, and then cardboard. And I can do as many as I want um, different layers between all these cardboard pieces. So it's not only that you can just do, you know, one set of flowers. With each layer, you can have flowers in there. So let's get some of the flowers ready to put into this press. So these were from a Mother's Day bouquet that I got, actually. And they're just tiny little flowers. Um, but I wanted to just press them as a whole, like in this whole little bunch, and I thought they would be pretty. And the only thing that I want to do with this one is I'm just going to kind of trim off some of the leaves that are down here on the bottom. Um, and maybe this, those two. So I was just going to trim it a little bit so it's a little bit cleaner. And then I'm just going to put my flowers. I'll probably put that one in the middle diagonal and these two on the side and that looks like that will be full and then my next step is going to be putting another piece of paper over the top and then I'll put another piece of cardboard and I'm not going to sandwich it all together yet or like put the nuts and bolts on because I want to do a few more flowers so if you run out of paper like this um, Whitney recommended doing construction paper. So this little flower, sorry it's out of focus, was is called Speedwell and it's one that I just planted in my garden and I thought these little flowers would be really pretty to press. So what I'm going to want to do is just clip as close as I can to the end of the flower without making it so the flower comes apart. So I'm going to do that on all of them. So once they, I have them all done, I just want to lie them flat. So I'm going to try to open them, and they're kind of little, but I'm just going to try to open them so that they are flat on the paper. Um, and it would be good if you had a little pair of tweezers, you could probably use that to help. So you're just trying to kind of open the petals, and these petals are very delicate. We'll just have to be really careful. So I'm just going to do that and get them all so they're facing down. Okay, from here I'm going to add another piece of paper and just press it flat. And another piece of cardboard. My next flowers, these are English daisies. Also from my garden that I just planted. So it, these ones have little petals in this middle portion. So I'm just going to pull those out. And then this flower is a little bit thicker compared to the other ones I've been doing. So I'm just going to try to clip the back to be as close to the end as possible so that I can get it as flat as possible. So I'm just going to clip it there. And then again, I need, I need my piece of paper. And I can just press it. I'll just set it down like this, but because it's thicker, I think that one's going to need, um, it might take a little more time to dry. So I'm going to do the same thing with this other, um, English Jay-Z and I believe these are mums. Someone please let me know if not, but I'm going to do the same with these. They're a little bit of a thicker flower. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to clip here, um, to try to make it as thin as possible before placing it in. Okay, so I did my last sheet of paper and then I did all my cardboard pieces and then I'm gonna put my top on here. And kind of make sure all the pieces are still in place. And then from here, I'm gonna put all the washers on. So I need a washer over each screw. And the last step is to put some of these bolts. Oops. And I'm going to put them on 
so they're mostly all the way on and then I'll tighten them all together. Okay, so I've got all the pieces tightened and I don't wanna tighten it so much that I'm gonna crack my press, but I do want it nice and tight so it'll keep the flowers nice and flat. So everything's in there now. I'm gonna check back tomorrow, especially for those thicker flowers um, and see if I need to change out the paper um, so that they don't get moldy. Um, but I just need to, Whit said that you should do that, um, I don't know, for the first week, every few days, kind of change out the paper. And then after that, you can just leave it uh, for one more week. And then you should have some beautiful pressed flowers for wax seal making. So let me know if you've tried your press. And if you have, what flowers did you press?